welcome to or welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Saskia and I am a second year psychology student at the University of Southampton. And what I thought I'd do today is tier rank the University of Southampton halls. Only the relevant ones. I'm not doing the Winchester ones because I don't live in Winchester, never experienced them. Um, what else am I not doing? I'll read through what I am doing actually. I'm doing a rank Chamberlain, Glen. I was going to split up Glen into like New Terrace, Old Terrace, South Hill, but there's no information about them and I don't have any friends, so I've got no one I can ask. So I'm just ranking Glen as a whole. Mayflower, Highfield Hall, Wessex. Wessex I'm ranking more detailed because I stayed in Wessex. I'm doing Monty 4, Monty 3, Monty 2, City Gateway and Archers Road. I've got a list, we're just going to start with them in list order because I'm not going to lie, I can't see that far. Like I cannot see that. So the first thing I've got is Chamberlain. Where's Chamberlain? This one. No, it's not that one. Chamberlain is this one. Not paying for this. Like, it's... Why? Chamberlain is ridiculously expensive. As in, disgustingly. You get, you do get a double bed, but it's a small double. As in, you're not fitting two people in that comfortably. Chamberlain, tiny double bed. The rooms are actually not that pretty. For how much you're paying, um, and I think it's like literally seven grand or like 6.8, something disgustingly expensive. Yes, they're modern, but they're not nice. You share with a lot more people as well. You share with 10 people, whereas pretty much everything else you share with seven others. No, you share with six others, so there's seven in a flat. In Chamberlain, there's 10. Which, I mean, in terms of the kitchen is kind of nice because you've got like two ovens, two fridges, two freezers, so it's five per thing rather than seven per thing but I don't want to share with that many people. I'm not paying that much for a small double bed. Like the only difference is the small double. That's pretty much it. You get a small double, your kitchen's slightly nicer. The room as a whole is nicer. I wouldn't say it's nicer at all. Um, and that's literally it. Like the desk isn't any bigger. The room is obviously slightly bigger to fit the double bed in. The bathroom is slightly nicer, but I'm not gonna lie. It's not that much nicer. Like, from someone that had a wet room compared to a shower, I preferred showering in my wet room than showering in Chamberlain. And that's saying something, because a wet room is not... not what people are kind of looking for. So yeah, Chamberlain, not paying for this at all. I think it's... honestly, probably the worst hauls. Or like, one of the worst. It's definitely not good. Um, just so expensive. The double bed's tiny. It's not much nicer than anywhere else. The shower is not that much nicer. The kitchen is nice. Like, I'll give it that if I'm gonna, since I'm slating it completely, I'll give it one positive point. The kitchen is quite pretty. Like, it's all nice and white, but do I really care about the kitchen? No. Like, Chamberlain is also very loud. Um, like, I stayed at Chamberlain a few times. Very loud. Constantly parties going on. If you don't want to party, maybe don't go Chamberlain. I've done a whole video talking about like different halls, which I'll put in the cards, which I basically just talk about the different halls, the different types of rooms and stuff. This is more just me shit talking and giving my opinion essentially, but yeah, Chamberlain not paying for this. So next I have Glen. Oh Jesus, which one's Glen on this picture? Mm, I think it's this one. I think Glen I appreciate. Like I don't, there's nothing wrong with Glen. Well, there's just nothing great about Glen. It is more expensive than Wessex because it's nicer. But that's a very subjective point. Um, Glen is massive. Like there's New Terrace, Old Terrace, South Hill, Jellicoe. That's like next to Chamberlain. And it is technically the closest to the uni, I think. Or is Highfield Hall closer? It's like one of the closest to the uni. But just, it's just not for me, it's not near anything. I know loads of people are like, oh, Glen's great. The only thing it's near is the campus. And only Highfield. If you're on Avenue, mm, no, it's kind of close to Avenue. It's not near anything useful. Not near a supermarket. It's not near a club. It's, the bus links are bad. Like, the Chamberlain bus, not Chamberlain, Glen has like a bus, like, route, which is the U2. The U2 doesn't run very frequently. It's late a lot. It just doesn't come a lot. Um, and it doesn't really go anywhere. Like it goes to campus and it goes to the city, 
but it doesn't go through Portswood. And if you're in Southampton, Portswood is the only relevant place to be, essentially. Like, you want to go to Portswood to buy food. Like, it will go to Lidl, it will go to Asda, but they're quite far away. Like, I just... Chamberlain and Glen are so far away from buying food and buying anything. You, I, I get that it's you've got the bus pass, fair enough, but they're just not close. Like, at least with Wessex, you have the bus pass, but your bus is actually good. Like, the U2 for Glen doesn't run frequently. They don't stop when I press the button. It's just a bit rubbish. I don't have good experiences with the U2. I think it's the worst bus route. That's so boring that I'm even mentioning that, but it's the worst bus route that exists in in the U's. I think we get the number one as well. But does anyone know where that goes? No. No, they don't. Um, I think there's different opinions of different blocks in Glen, which I can't talk about because I don't really know that much. I'm just ranking Glen as a whole. And I know that people liked it. Like, I know that it's good. It's good for social life. It's good because it's close to the campus. But for me, I wouldn't, I wouldn't love it. Like, I did apply for Glen originally. Glen was my number one. Didn't get Glen, got Wessex. Much happier that I got to Wessex. Like, I know you can't say that you're happier because you don't know what you would have been like in the other experience, but Glen would have been more expensive for something that's not really any better. Like, Wessex is more convenient for me in terms of location, especially with everything online. Why would I want to be near the campus, which is the only place I don't have to go to? Like, Glen is just not for me. Um, I also... What was it? There's like, the laundry rooms are weird, is what I've heard. Like, in some of the blocks you have to trek to the laundry rooms. There's Glen Nevis, the hill all the way up to Glen, which is just... It's not even that steep, but it's quite hard. Um, like, it's convenient in terms of location for the campus. But that's it. Like, you can walk to Avenue Campus nice and quick. You can walk to Highfield Campus quick. You can go to the gym quick. You can't really go to a supermarket quickly unless you're going to get the bus, which is then you've got the whole U2 problem. I just... Yeah. There's nothing hugely wrong with it, I say after I've been talking for four minutes about hating it, but it's just not, it's not superior, I would say. So Mayflower, I'm not paying for this. I would say it could go in, I appreciate, but financially it's not for me. It's more expensive than Glen. I think it's along the Chamberlain lines because you're paying for location. Like Mayflower halls are pretty, but you are paying for being in the city. So all of the halls are kind of close-ish together, like the campus is here and then all of the halls are kind of like that. Mayflower is down there. Mayflower is in the city, which again for COVID kind of good because you didn't go to campus, you can just go out COVID clubbing essentially. You're near to like Asda, you're near to, Mayflower has a gym, which is a good gym, Glen gym is not good. Um, like the Mayflower gym is nice, the Mayflower halls are nice. It's just so expensive. Like, if you're a clubber and you're a social person, yes. I know a lot of international students stay in Mayflower. I don't know if Mayflower just has, like, lots of availability um, or if they just fancy Mayflower. Mayflower's not for me. Too expensive. Location is okay unless you were on campus. Like, if you're in first year, you get the free bus pass so you can get to campus, but it's a 40-ish minute bus. I'm not doing that for a 9am. If I had a 9am, I'd have to get the bus at quarter to eight. Quarter past eight. That's disgusting. I can currently get the bus at like 20 to nine and get to campus. Like I wouldn't, no. Like I know that you have the free bus pass and taking that into consideration, but very not for me. Like the rooms are quite pretty, but you are just paying for the location and the location is only good if you maybe are happy to commute to campus and are a clubber. Like otherwise, I don't really recommend Mayflower. I'd rather be at Solent. Oh, what am I doing? I don't, don't like Highfield Hall. Um, I'm pretty sure it only does part catered, which just disgusting. I'm not being catered, I'm not having someone else cook for me. I'm, I'm a picky eater, I don't like people cooking. It, no. But I've also never heard anything good about it. Like the others I've heard like a 50-50, this is good, this is bad. Highfield, I've never heard anything good other than it's near campus. Like, it's near campus, but also the location sucks. Like, to get anywhere from Highfield Hall, you kind of have to walk to a bus stop at campus rather than, like, Glen, there is a bus stop kind of outside Glen. Wessex, there's a bus stop outside Wessex. Mayflower, there's a Mayflower bus stop. Highfield Hall, 
there's not really a high field hall bus stop. It's not the most convenient. It's not really for me. I would say, like pricing wise, it's not bad, but I literally don't know anyone that goes to Highfield Hall. I know that even when we were like in Freshers Chats before we come to the uni, everyone was like, oh, what combination were you in? It was, it was Glen, Wessex, Mayflower. No one said Highfield Hall. No one goes to Highfield Hall. It's just, if you want to be catered, fair enough. But Highfield Hall, the location just sucks, I think. And it just isn't, it just doesn't seem very good. I don't, I don't really approve of it as a haul. Next on my list, I have Wessex, Monty Four. Oh, I'm gonna say I appreciate rather than I'm not paying for this because Wessex, Monty Four, my flatmate stayed in Monty Four. Beautiful. Like the room are so much prettier. They're, they're technically a category two and Chamberlain is also a category two. They're a different style. You don't get a double bed, you get a single bed and it's also cheaper than Chamberlain Category 2, but objectively prettier. And also on Wessex. Wessex is very convenient. I am a Wessex girl. Um, you, there are rats, but I'm not gonna lie. I didn't go to Chamberlain that much. Well, I went to Chamberlain like once or twice a week. I saw more rats in Chamberlain than I did in Wessex, and I stayed in Wessex for a whole year. So the rat problem is not just a Wessex thing. I saw more at Chamberlain because Chamberlain doesn't have many bins and I'm not gonna lie, the people there can't seem to bag things in bins, like at least in Wessex, they seem to understand that you put things in a bag, then you put it in the bin, you know? Um, so yeah, Wessex Monty 4, beautiful. Lo I, I know that last year it was an issue because the bloody buildings, they were they were building another Monty 4 or a Monty 5 or like a, the sexiest accommodation essentially. And they would wake everyone up with building work. Like during 24 hour exams, building work. During life, building work. Like in Monty 3, you couldn't hear it. In Monty 4, it was all you heard. But Monty 4, I'm gonna say probably second best accommodation. Because very, I'd say it's good value for money. Like it's a bit more expensive than other places, but it's, I'd say you get your money's worth. The kitchen I think was nicer. Then Monty 3, the bedroom was nicer than Monty 3, the desk was nicer. You had like a desk at the end of your room. If I'll, I'll find pictures and insert them. But Monty 4 was, oh, you always had a shower rather than a wet room and the shower actually seemed good. Like my wet room was fine, but the shower seemed nice. I liked Monty 4, I would, yeah. Like if I had to reapply for the uni and stay in a different halls, I'd probably go for Monty 4 or Monty 2. It would be Monty because Wessex. But like, because I get maximum student loan, Monty 4 is fine. Monty 4 is kind of Tory. Like Chamberlain is Tory for Glen. Monty 4 is Tory for Wessex. But it's not too Tory. Highly recommend. It's also Wessex, which is convenient. Like you can get the U1 literally everywhere. The U1 goes to Wide Lane if you're doing sports, goes to the campus, goes to the gym. The U6 goes straight down Portswood Road. You're right by pharmacy, co-op, McDonald's. You, you can get the bus straight down to Aldi. Like. Bus-wise, Monty 2, 3 and 4 are the best. Is there a Monty 1? Might be being dumb, but I don't know that there's a Monty 1. But yeah, Monty 4, beautiful. Next, I have Monty 3, because we're just gonna work our way down in the Monty's. So, Monty 3, superior halls, I can't, I can't say anything else. We'll start with the negatives, rats, which is quite a negative, all oh, silverfish, I didn't really see that many silverfish, but I know a lot of people had silverfish infestation problems. I didn't, um, and I know that I don't think that was that much of an issue kind of anywhere else. Um, but yeah, rats and silverfish, not that many rats. I saw more rats at, at um, Chamberlain. Silverfish, I didn't get that many. But it's just beautiful. I really like that they're in quads, but like you can look out your window and you see another block, and you're like in, and you have like a little quad bit where you can have like, you can sit down and, exist um some of them i know p block i was in p block was right by a bloody train station like the train track ran right right by which was semi-annoying but i didn't actually hear that many trains i would only hear trains if i was in the kitchen like M monty is also quite big like there's a lot of walking like if you're in the far away box which i think s and t that's a solid six seven minute walk from monty reception which is annoying to get things like post but it's quieter 
and like I just love Monty. The rooms were nice. You do get a wet room for your bathroom, but I'm not gonna lie, it's like concave. Yeah, concave, convex. It's like a concave in. So your bathroom won't flood unless you're just a special person, I think. My bathroom never flooded. I really liked my bathroom. Um, thing, weird thing, but the bathroom, the toilet roll holder is in a stupid place. Let me just say that. Like you're sat on the toilet here, the bathroom, the toilet roll holder is like always behind you here, which like kind of that, but also no, really dumb. Everyone that ever came into my room and went to the toilet was like that's stupid and I, I do agree. Loads of storage, the desk is massive. That is a positive about kind of, I would say all of the halls, massive desk, like enough. Like my current desk is a normal size desk. I would say it's a like one and a half normal desks. Like you could probably fit like, you could probably fit two people on it if you had to. Um, but like storage, beautiful, transport links, beautiful, location, beautiful, everything beautiful. I love Monty, I love Monty 3. So now I'm gonna rank Monty 2. I stayed in Monty 2. So I'll put that, I appreciate, I think. I, I was only in Monty 2 for like three weeks because basically my accommodation contract ended June 24th and I wanted to stay in Southampton until my second year house started on July 1st. So I stayed for those two, three weeks and I quite liked it. I'm not a fan of sharing bathrooms, like, that's not my vibe, but there was only other one. There was only one person in my flat other than me, so it was fine. The kitchen was actually really nice. Weird thing though, the oven wasn't attached to the wall, so like you just had like a, a crumb deposit essentially. But it was in a really nice area. There was always like green bits around it, so you almost had like a garden, I guess. The shower was actually nice. Like you had a shower, shower. I don't know if I find this weird, but you had in shared bathroom, you have a toilet room which has a toilet and a sink. The sink is really dumb, like the water was really powerful, you couldn't wash your hands without water splurting out everywhere, don't know if that was just me. And then you had a shower room which had a toilet and a shower. Why didn't it have a sink as well? Am I, is there something I'm missing? I, if I'm pissing, I want to wash my hands. Like I'm not gonna, I, I can get that, you know, you know, it, I kind of get it but also can I wash my hands? No. I don't really get it. The room was really pretty, it was basically like the Monty 3 room but like slightly nicer wood. Um, like the desk was the same size, it was pretty much the exact same size and layout, but you had a sink. My room that I was in, stupid sink positioning. My bed was here, my sink was here, but the cupboards opened that way. So you got hit on the bed, you couldn't open the cupboards the whole way. If they had rotated the sink, everything would have worked fine, but they did not think to do that. Don't really know what happened there, but like, I like it. I'd say if you're happy to share a bathroom, Monty 2 is beautiful. Like, you're still in Wessex, superior halls. It's just a bit weird. It's a bit hit or, hit or miss with what you get. And they're also like weird. I think I was in like, I think it was in like H51 or something. And apparently that was on the ground floor. How am I supposed to know that 51 is on the ground floor? Like at least in um, Monty 3, I was floor four, flat eight. Like it was pretty obvious, like I was 486 or 487 or 468 or something like that. What does H51 mean? Like I couldn't locate what I was, where I was going essentially. And I think you have like three flats per floor as well, rather than two. Um, but you share with the same amount of people. I really liked it. There was nothing wrong with it. Um, it's closer to the Monty reception. So like you're closer to the bus, literally like a two minute walk. You're closer to reception to get parcels. I liked Monty too. So we then have City Gateway. No one stays in City Gateway, just <laughs> just as a fact. I'd rather be at Sheridan. Um, not for me. Why would City Gateway is a postgraduate accommodation? I'm not gonna lie. I don't. I get why people might want postgraduate specific accommodation, but it's so expensive. Why would I? Why would I splash out more just to be with postgraduates when I could just go, go to like Monty Two and select a quiet flat and it with the same effect? Like, City Gateway is kind of relatively close to Monty, but also in the wrong direction to be useful. Like, Monty's here. Like, Monty's here, right? Aldi and all of that is over here. The, the uni is here. City Gateway is that way. Not, like, maybe this way or that way. It's next to the McDonald's. Nice. It's next to the co-op. Nice. It's not next to anything useful. Like, you couldn't go into the co-op and do, like, your full weekly food shop for a, a good price. You'd go to McDonald's, but... What's the point of that? Like, I don't get the point of City Gateway. 
it doesn't make sense to me. I would never pay for City Gateway. Um, if I was going to uni as a postgraduate, I would just find a house share or stay in another set of halls, hope that I get in and just take a quiet flat. Like, I think you're guaranteed accommodation as a postgrad or something like that, but I'd rather risk it than pay. Like, I think it costs around the same as Chamberlain and you get like a crappy single bed normal room. Why would you, I don't get why you pay more for the same as you get somewhere else, just so that you can be with postgrads. I don't know if I'm being dumb, but it makes no sense to me at all. Archer's Road. I don't know whether this should go in not paying for this or rather be a Solent. I'm... I'm gonna go for rather be a... Mm. I don't know where it goes. Maybe I'll put it in a I appreciate, but it's like the lowest of I appreciate. Like the location's not great. Um, it's good for Lidl <laughs> and it's kind of good for the city. Like the, the uni's here, city's here, Archer's Road is like, here. So you're kind of in an okay location. You're near the common actually, which is quite nice. You're near Lidl, which is good. You're kind of near the city. Bus links are actually kind of good. Actually, yeah, no, I am. I'm going to stick it and appreciate. Um, bus links are quite good. I. It's a smaller accommodation like Monty and Glen, so it's less lively, but it's still lively. Like there's still people that will go there. It's just not. Like I would say you've got Glen, Monty, Mayflower. Archers in terms of like popularity, I guess, or like Glen Mayflower Monty Archers. Like Archers is the fourth. It's not competing in the top three because it's smaller, but it's really nice. Um, the location is a bit weird actually. Like you can get off at the bus, but then you have to like do a little walk. Like Monty and Glen, you get off and you're at, you're, you're there. Archers, you have to do a little search for where the hell you're going essentially. Um, but it is pretty. It is cheap actually. Um, it's like Wessex prices, not Glen prices. Glen prices are more expensive than Wessex prices, even for the same room. So like, if you want a category one in Glen, it's more expensive than a category one in Monty. A category one in, a category two, no, a category one in Glen costs the same as a category two in Monty, if that makes sense. So Monty is cheaper than Glen, Archers is on the same price range as Monty slash Wessex. Um, which is good, it's convenient, it's useful. Transport links are quite good. Like I guess to get to uni, you can get the one, the six, or the two. I think you can get all the buses. You walk straight up to go to the common, you walk straight up to go, if you're on Avenue campus actually, I'd say hi, I would say Archers is pretty good because you're near the city, you're near the little, you can get into Portswood. It's not the closest to Portswood, but you can get to Portswood with kind of little difficulty. And yeah. I think I've changed my mind about archers. I think in my ranking, not my ranking video, my video just talking about them, I was like, mm, archers. But I know a few people that are archers or were at archers and they actually quite liked it. So my opinion has changed. I think archers is actually quite nice. Um, so yeah, that's my final ranking. Monty three superior. We then have Wessex, Monty four, Monty two and archers are kind of, I would say the next best ones. Chamberlain and Mayflower not paying, just not not worth the money at all in my opinion and then Highview and City Gateway just just why do they exist City Gateway confuses me the most Highfield yeah fair enough but what's City Gateway why does it exist why is it there I don't understand um but yeah I'm gonna end my video there I don't know if anyone's gonna have watched this and if you're watching this and you're from Glen come and hate me go for it I know I'm gonna get Glen Glenn stands, a bit weird to stand in an accommodation. She says after she's just been standing Monty 3, but like, there's gonna be Glenn people that are like, oh, you're wrong, or Mayflower people that are like, oh, you're wrong, but it's an opinion, besties. It's my personal ranking. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it there um, before I say anything that will get me extra hated on, and I will, will I link this down below? Not that anyone's gonna want to do it, but I will link it down below. I don't think they do. Like, I know that there are more halls, but where are they? You know, I'm gonna end up there. Um, if you liked it, subscribe and like, thumbs up, I guess. I will have linked my other accommodation videos. So like my, not ranking accommodation, this is ranking accommodation, like my, where's it's room tour? I have room tours of Monty 3, Monty 2. I have a video just talking about accommodation, like prices. 
um, and I have videos moving out of the halls. Um, and I've also got a video of my second year house if you want to see the upgrade, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'll end the video there. Thanks for watching. Don't hate on my opinion, besties. Thank you.